Hi everybody. Uh, this is just a quick tip for um, how to bring in a blender prop that will have the exterior walls invisible so that you can view the interior walls. Now in iClone they provide you with um, a series of what they call 3D spaces and one of those is the room, uh, they have a tent, tower, dome, ceiling, uh, cave, and whatnot. And all of these props show you the interior walls but not the exterior walls which makes it easier for you to set up your um, camera scenes so because you can see what's going on inside the room right if the exterior was um, not invisible as it is here you wouldn't be able to see inside until you get past that wall itself so this is a cool pretty cool characteristic however um, for this particular instance I, I need to have a little bit of customization I want to put in a window um, and actually I'll tell you what I'm doing I needed to create a kitchen prop, a uh, kitchen set. Um, the scene would have a person standing at the kitchen sink and he would be looking out the window. So I'm going to want to set most of the walls, the exterior walls, invisible except for the wall with the window in it so that I can then place a camera outside that wall looking back in the window as well. Okay, so going into Blender I have just a basic, a basic cube and in, in Blender, in the Materials section, if you scroll down in Material, they have, in, under Settings, something called Backface Culling. And Backface Culling will make the back faces invisible. However, the back faces on a cube are the inside, not the outside, so we need to flip that around. The way that you do that, uh, you select, we go into the Edit Mode, and you select all of the walls. There we go. And then we go into, da, 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 I believe it's, is it face? Uh, we go into mesh, normals, flip. Okay, so it's up here, mesh, normals, flip. And now I flip those around, and now when I turn on back face calling, well, nothing happened. How come? Uh, I believe because my um, my viewport or my view is looking using solid. If we change this to material view or rendered, now this has the same functionality that you would see inside that um, that room, like we saw in, in iClone. And if I export it, it will look very similar and have the same functionality as that kind of prop. Okay. So now, like I said, what one of the things that I want to do is set all of the walls but one to have this effect um, very quickly. I will, I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to change this back to solid so I can pick the, the, pick the wall that I want to use and I'm going to go back up and I'm going to create a second material and we'll call this back wall. All right, like that. And now with just this, just one wall selected, I'm going to assign that material to it. And by doing that, this doesn't have the back face calling on. And so when I go back and I set this back, you will see all of these walls turn invisible except that one. All right? So that's how I would do it. Now I'm, what I would do is I would put the window on this, this back wall here. And then I can shoot from outside and within inside, but all the other walls will be partially well invisible on the on the back face okay so I hope that's helpful let me show you um, the the thing I was working on I'll just go ahead and I'll save we'll just go ahead and open it and I'll show you what I mean so see how all of these walls are invisible right and I can this will help me when I'm setting up my cameras I can set it up in, in whatever manner I want and the walls won't be in the shot but I can also go to the back and when I want to set up the shot on the outside, I'll be able to do that with the wall showing in the mirror in the window there. So that's basically uh, what, what I'm setting up. I hope that's a little helpful to somebody, um, and I will see you next time.